Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing y'all my NBA Jam session on December 31st, 2022, man. New Year's Eve, man. Let's make some money tonight, man. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new, and drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through seeing who y'all like. If you're looking for my best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, as well as the best bets from the top handicappers on the planet, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium picks tab. If you're looking for my $15 NBA Jam Session play, my best bet in the NBA every night, man, you can click that link in the description. It'll take you right to it, man. $15, scoop that up. I know we've been pretty cold this week, man, but we look to heat back up. Um, to start the new year, man, 2023, man, new month, new goals, new opportunities. Uh, we got a decent sized card here tonight, man. We want to smash it to close out the year. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ. That's where I typically update y'all on late injury news and if my mind changes due to late information coming out of the association, man. So follow me there for all that great stuff, man. Happy New Year, man. Be safe tonight, please, man. You know, a lot of crazy people out there, a lot of crazy things going on in this world right now. So be safe tonight. Let's make some money tonight. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Clippers out on the road facing the Indiana Pacers. Clippers road favorites laying three and a half, total 232. Uh, the Clippers, man, this will be their fifth straight road game, man. They've won two of those. They lost two of those. They just lost their last one to the Boston Celtics, 116-110. Uh, the other loss in that span was the 76ers, 119-114, in a game where they were up pretty big in that one, and then they got uh, they let the Sixers come back and uh, win and cover in that one. Uh, the two wins were against the Detroit Pistons in overtime in a game where they needed some late-game heroics to push that one to overtime, and then they beat the Toronto Raptors out on the road. Here in this one, man, like I said, their fifth straight road game against the Indiana Pacers team, who we know can score with some of the best teams in the league, man. I'm going to take the Pacers plus the points here in this one. We've also seen the Pacers play some really good basketball here recently, man. The Pacers have won four of their last five, including their last two at home against Cleveland, uh, 120, no, I'm sorry, 135, 126, and against Atlanta, 129, 114. I definitely think that uh, they can score enough points here in this one to uh, keep pace with this uh, Clippers team, if not win this game outright. Like I said, they are playing some really good basketball here recently. Uh, they also have beaten the Celtics in this five-game span, the Miami Heat. So they've been playing some pretty good competition, and they've been winning their third straight home game. I think they take care of this Clippers team, and I definitely like the three-and-a-half in my back pocket. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Brooklyn Nets out on the road facing the Charlotte Hornets. Brooklyn Road favorites laying seven, total 237 in this one. Short, sweet, and simple in this one. We're taking Brooklyn. We're laying the seven. Uh, they just been so damn hot. I'm done fading them, man. Uh, I know we did fade them and get a cover in our last one with the Atlanta Hawks. This is not the Hawks, man. This is one of the worst teams in the NBA in the Charlotte Hornets. The Nets are just in that mode right now. Um, and I think they can definitely take care of this Hornets team, man. It's not that complicated for me in this one. So, continue to ride one of the better teams in the NBA on one of the best runs we've seen this season in the NBA. Give me the Nets. I'll lay the seven We're here with them in this matchup tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers out on the road facing the Chicago Bulls. Cleveland road favorites laying four, total 224 and a half. Man, Cleveland been doing us dirty this week, man. They really have. They've now lost three straight basketball games, including two home losses, um, one to Toronto, 118-107, the other one to the Red Hot Brooklyn Nets, 125-117. And then they just lost their last one out on the road on the 29th to the Indiana Pacers, 135-126. They've been struggling here recently, man. Uh, but we go look at the Chicago Bulls. The opposite is going to be half for them. And I know I've been talking bad about this Bulls team a lot here this year and kind of recently. But they're kind of making me eat some of those words, man. They've won four of the last five, playing some really good basketball. They are on a back-to-back -back here tonight after playing in a fairly competitive one last night against the Pistons. They kind of took off there in the end. Um, but, you know, I got to give credit where credit is due. This Bulls team playing better basketball. Winners of four of the last five. Beat the Pistons mm -hmm. last night. They also beat Milwaukee on the 28th. Uh, that game went to overtime, 119-113 in the game. Milwaukee probably should have won in regulation, but they didn't. Um, so, you know, the Chicago Bulls team, they've been playing some really good basketball here recently. But tonight, they're still the same Bulls to me. The Cleveland Cavaliers are the better team, and I'm going to lay the points with Cleveland. I will say Cleveland has some key injuries we need to pay attention to. 
Darius Garland is currently listed as day to day. So is Evan Mobley. So is Robin uh, Lopez. It looks like Lopez is probable to play in this one, but the, the other two of the main ones, Darius Garland and Evan Mobley, both questionable for this one. Uh, I'll update you on Twitter as soon as I find out anything on those guys. But yeah, I'm leaning Cavs in this one. We've already seen these two teams play once this season. The game was in Chicago. Cleveland dismantled Chicago in that one. 128-96, man. And I would not be surprised in the slightest if Cleveland came in here and did the same thing. I know they've lost three straight. But if there's a team that I can be confident in to bounce back even on the road, it's the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. I like their makeup. I like their defensive makeup. I like they have some offensive firepower, definitely, with Garland and Mitchell. I think they're the better team here in this one. I'll lay the points with Cleveland here in our second matchup of the night. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the New York Knicks out on the road facing the Houston Rockets. New York laying five and a half, total 227 and a half. I ain't going to lie, man. This one's tough because the New York Knicks, they should win this one and cover, but... They're straight ass, bro, so it's hard to even expect them to do so. I thought their last game was going to be their bounce-back game, uh, the game to get right against the San Antonio Spurs, and they lost outright. 122-115, uh, they got beaten by Dallas the game before, 126-121. Um, in that one, they should have won that one as well before the Luka Doncic heroics, but you were up 10 with uh, like a minute something to go. Man, you got to close that door. They didn't do it. I think the injury to Jalen Brunson right now is a huge factor in this New York Knicks team, man. I think he is um, a huge piece into what these guys are trying to do. And with him out, man, you've just been seeing this team. They have no true point guard, and it's uh, it's kind of been hurting them. They've lost five straight, man. Like I said, to Dallas, Philadelphia, Chicago, Toronto, San Antonio. It's a tough one for me, man. We go look at the uh, Houston Rockets. It's not like they've been letting the world on fire here recently. They just got dominated by the Mavericks at home. 129-114. I'm sorry, that one was on the road. 129-114. Boston whooped up on them, too. 126-102. They're not playing good basketball right now. They've lost four of their last five. Only win coming on the road against the Chicago Bulls, 133-118. As much as I don't want to do it in this one, I am going to lean towards the Knicks in probably the smallest lean of the night, man. This could be a bounce back spot and get right spot, although I will say I thought their last one against San Antonio was going to be that spot. They are on the Texas tour right now. They've lost the previous two to the Mavericks and the Spurs, so... Small, small lean to the Knicks, man. The Rockets have been awful here recently. The Knicks are the better team. I know they're in the midst of playing some really terrible basketball. And laying points with them right now isn't really a good idea, but I have to choose a side. So, <laughs> it's a small, small, small lean to the New York Knicks here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Dallas Mavericks out on the road facing the San Antonio Spurs. Mavs row favorites laying seven, total 225 and a half. I bit myself in the ass the other night on the 29th and took the Houston Rockets against my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, and I paid the price for it. Um, Mavs, man, I've been telling y'all this whole time uh, that the Mavs were finna go on a tear. They were finna go through a soft spot in their schedule, and I didn't take my own advice, man. Sometimes you over-handicap games. I think that's what I did in that one. And this one, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm just taking a better team to go ahead and stomp down on a bad team like the San Antonio Spurs, and I think that's what's in order here with the Dallas Mavericks, man. They're just playing really great basketball. They've won five straight basketball games. Um, it started a little bit before Christmas, but I really, I think later in the season, we're really going to look at that Christmas Day game as a huge turning point in the season for this Dallas Mavericks team in the dismantling of the uh, Los Angeles Lakers on Christmas Day. Um, that 51-point third quarter, man, really was a turning point for this Mavericks team. I loved what I seen from Luka in that one. Christian Wood as well. Outside guys starting his shots like Tim Hardaway Jr. And uh, Dinwiddie also playing some great basketball here recently. And uh, it's been showing up on the stat sheet, man. They just dismantled the Rockets, as I talked about a minute ago, on the 29th, 129-114. They beat the Knicks in the Luka Doncic historic game, 126-121, in a game they should not have won at all, man. Luka... Had 60, 21, and 10 in that one, man. They were down like 10 or something late in that game. Found a way to win it. Um, so I'm just not going to overcomplicate it, man. Like I said, they've won five straight games, and I think they just continue to roll here, especially against a bottom feeder team in the NBA like the San Antonio Spurs, man. The Spurs did get a win on the 29th in their last one against the New York Knicks, 122-115. 
but they lost on the road against the Thunder 131-14. They do got a home win against the Jazz, so they've won two of their last five. They beat the Jazz 126-122, but then they got dominated on the road by Orlando by 20 points. Uh, the uh, Pelicans beat them pretty good, 126-117. I just think when they play those upper echelon teams in the NBA, they typically get smashed. When they play those middle of the pack teams, you know, it's a fairly decent game here tonight. I don't think there's no competition. I think the Mavs just are in that mode right now. They're starting to look like that Western Conference team from last year, and I'm not fading them, man. Luka Doncic is playing some at an extremely high level right now. He's my MVP currently. Give me the Mavs, man. I'll lay the seven here with them in this matchup tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans on the road facing the Memphis Grizzlies in a really good game, man. Two of my favorite money-making teams. I'm ready to watch this one. Memphis home favorites length six, total 232.5. The Pelicans, man, have been playing some really good basketball recently, man. They've ripped off five straight wins, including a win last night over the Philadelphia 76ers at home, 127-116. But now they found themselves on a back-to-back -back on the road facing one of the best home cover teams in the NBA, the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies are actually the second best cover team at home this season, right behind Golden State. They are 11-4-1 against the spread at home. They cover 73.3% of their games on their home floor, man. I'm taking the Grizzlies. I'm laying the points. Um, you know, I will say the Grizzlies have not been playing their best basketball here recently, man. They've only won two of their last five. But I will give them some slack, man, for the last five. We're all out on the road against some pretty good competition. The Nuggets, the Suns, Golden State. Um, you know, so they've been playing some pretty tough competition here recently, man. And this is another tough one. But I just think, like I said, they've played their best basketball on their home floor all season. And I think they could just continue it, man. They did win their last matchup out, man, against the Toronto Raptors, 119-106. That one was on the road, man. I just think they kind of returned home after not being here a lot recently and dismantled this uh, Pelicans team, man. I know the Pelicans, are y'all know, man, they're one of my favorite teams. I definitely love putting my money on the, on the Pelicans, man, but I just don't love the spot for them either. Um, I know they won five straight, but uh, four of their last five also were at home. Now they find themselves on the road. Their last road game was the 23rd of uh, December against the Oklahoma City Thunder in a game that they should have lost, but they did take the overtime and win it against the Thunder, 128-125. Uh, I just don't love the spot for this Pelicans team tonight, man. We've also seen these two teams play twice already this season. The Pelicans won the first matchup, 113-102. That one was in New Orleans. Uh, the Grizzlies took the second one, 132-111. They won that one in dominant fashion. That one was on November 25th. That one was in Memphis. I don't think this one is going to be quite that dominating, but I do think the Memphis Grizzlies win and win comfortably here back on their home floor where they've played their best basketball all season. I'll lay the points here with the Memphis Grizzlies here in this matchup tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Detroit Pistons out on the road facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota home favorites laying 7.5, total 232. For me in this one, I'm taking the Pistons plus the points. Minnesota wins this game, but I highly, highly, highly doubt that they win this one by margin. I think this one has a Minnesota 4-5 point win written all over it, just in my opinion, man. Uh, Minnesota, they've lost five straight basketball games. Granted, I will say they have played some pretty tough competition and uh, four of the last five were all out on the road, man. They just lost to Milwaukee last night on the road. Um, they aren't a back-to-back, -back, so I'm not in love with the spot there either. But they just lost to Milwaukee last night, 123-114. Lost to the Pelicans on the 28th, 119-118. Lost to Miami on the uh, 26th, 113-110. Boston beat them up pretty good, 121-109. Mavs got them on their home floor, 104-99. So, you know, five of those teams... All five of those teams are going to be playoff teams this year, the last five teams that the Timberwolves just played. So they have been playing some pretty tough competition. They do return home in this one after playing their last four all out on the road against a weak team like the, the Detroit Pistons. And I, like I said, I do think they get the win, man. But in my opinion, I think they're just gonna still going to be a close one. We've seen teams return home in their first home game after a road trip and it still be kind of a flat spot. And I think that's what we're looking at tonight. I do think they win the game. 
but I think this one got a four-point win, five-point win written all over it. We're going to look at the Pistons. I will say it's not like they're lighting the world on fire right now either, man. They've only won one of their last five. That win did come against the Orlando Magic on the road, 121-101. Other than that, man, they've been beaten pretty dominantly by everybody. Chicago got them. They're on a back-to-back as well last night, 132-118 in a game where the Pistons, I felt like, were covering most of that game. Then they kind of got off the gas there at the end, let the Bulls get the win and cover. Uh, the Clippers got them pretty good in overtime by 11 in the game. The Pistons probably should have won in the regulation. They coughed it up, let the Clippers come back and get the win and cover in overtime. Or Atlanta beat them pretty good, 130-105, and the Sixers beat them 113-93. But none of those teams are this Timberwolves team, man. I just don't see the Timberwolves winning by margin, man. Like I said, I think this is a four or five-point win written all over it for the Timberwolves, man. So in a lean for me in this one, I probably won't be playing it, but in a lean for me, I will lean Detroit Pistons plus the seven and a half here in this one. In our next matchup of the night, we got the Philadelphia 76ers out on the road facing the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies. Philadelphia road favorites length four, total 231. Philadelphia, man, I don't love the spot for them, man. I continue to tell y'all, at home, Philadelphia is straight money. On the road, man, they're pretty much a no-go, man. Uh, and now they find themselves on a back-to-back on the road, man. We're taking the Thunder plus the points. We're not going to overcomplicate this one. Um, the Thunder, let's not act like they're not the second-best cover team in the NBA. Um, right behind, actually, they're the first uh, cover team in the NBA, man. Uh, they're tied with the Portland Trail Blazers for the best cover team in the NBA, both hitting at a 60% clip. 21 and 14 against the spread this season, man. I think they can take care of this Philadelphia 76ers team. It's not like the Sixers have been dominant um, out on the road. They've actually been the complete opposite. Philadelphia on the road this season are a measly 6 and 9 against the spread, man. Like I said, they're on a back to back. This is going to be their fourth straight road game. They've now lost back to back road games as well. They just lost last night to the Pelicans, 127 116. Washington got them on the 27th, 116 111. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if the Thunder won this game outright, man. Uh, the Thunder have won three of their last five. They they beat the Portland Trail Blazers twice at home, 123-121, 101-96. Um, they did lose to the uh, Pelicans at home in the overtime game, 128-125. Dismantled San Antonio at home, 130-114. They, this will be their fifth home game in their last six games. I just like the spot for the Thunder. I'm not in love with the spot for the 76ers. I know the Sixers have been hot overall in the month of December, but all of that damage was done at home, man. All of those games were at home. They played seven straight home games. Now they've been on a road for a little minute, and they begin to look like the team that struggled on the road all season. I'm not overcomplicating this one either, man. I'm taking the second best. Actually, like I said earlier, the first best cover team in the NBA, man. They're dead tied for the, for the best cover team in the NBA with the Portland Trail Blazers, both 21 and 14 against the spread, both hitting at a 60% clip. Give me the thunder. Not going to overcomplicate it, man. Plus the four in this one. Would not be shocked in the slightest if they won this game outright. In our last and final game of the night, man, and our last and final game of the year 2022, man, we're going to end it with a stone cold lock, man. And y'all almost never hear those words come out of my mouth, man. But I absolutely love this play. It's a premium for me. I'm giving it to y'all due to the terrible week we've had this week, man. Um, but I think we end it on a high note, man, and we start the year off with a banger. I absolutely love this play. And I know y'all know where I'm going with it. We're taking the Jazz at home, man. We're laying the three and a half. It's really not that complicated, in my opinion. I absolutely love this play, man. I have. I'm not even going to tell you how much I got on this one, but probably one of my biggest plays of the year. This could have easily been my best bet of the day, but there's another play that I love just as much as this one on this card that we talked about earlier. But as we talk about this one, man, y'all know how I feel about the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat currently hold the number one spot on the do not bet list. They've been there for quite some time and for good reason. We go look at the uh, against the spread records this season, and what do we find? We find the Miami Heat at the bottom of the list, the worst cover team in the NBA, 12-22-2 this season against the spread, have only covered in 35.3% of their games. Now they find themselves on the road in a back-to-back, um, facing one of the better cover teams at home this season in the Utah Jazz, and they got to go up there in that elevation and play them. 
Come on now, man. Like, I just love this game for the Jazz, man. A perfect bounce-back spot and get-right spot for the Jazz after they've lost their last three games. Um, the Jazz previous five games, four of those were all on the road, man. I just think they return home and dominate this Miami team, man. Like I said, Miami, the worst cover team in the NBA. 12-22-2 against the spread. I've only covered in 35.3% of their games, man. On a back-to-back, -back, man. They've played four of their last five at home. I'm giving y'all too much heat, man. I love this Jazz play tonight. I got some heavy lumber on this one, man. Tell me on this one. I think we get out of here with a huge win to close out our 2022, man. Give me the Jazz. I'm laying the three and a half with them at home. They're going to smash down on this Miami Heat team. So let's end the year on a high note, man. Give me the Jazz in this one. And that's going to conclude tonight's NBA Jam session on December 31st. 2022 man thank y'all for watching smash that like button for your god man subscribe if you're new and drop your like down in the comments as you do know i love going through seeing who y'all like man but if you're looking for my best bets the ones that i'm placing tonight as well as best bets from the top handicappers on the planet check us out over at pickdogs.com click that premium picks tab if you're looking for my 15 dollar nba jam session play my best bet in the nba every night man you can click that link in the description it'll take you right to it man 15 dollars scoop that up Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ, man. That's where I typically update y'all on late injury news and if my mind changes on any of these games due to late information coming out of the association, man. Again, thank y'all for watching, man. Let's close this year out with a banger, man. New month, new goals, new opportunities, man. I'll see y'all in 2023, man, which is tomorrow. <laughs> but I'll talk to y'all then, man. Follow me on Twitter. Talk to y'all on Twitter. Talk to y'all in the comments, man. Love y'all, guys. Let's start the new year off right, man. See y'all tomorrow. Let's make some money today. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, and I'm out. Peace.